So, I can't be the only one that gets excited to go look at some four-wheelers out in the middle of some woods. So before we dive deep into this video, I've been wanting to give people some free entries into this giveaway Honda. And we're less than a month now, and I'm running out of time to give some free entries. And our goal is to start doing like daily vlogs or daily videos as far as like the life at the shop or a day in the life at the shop, whatever you want to call it. And just kind of keep people updated and let them see what I go through day to day. See what kind of torture I deal with day to day. It's not really that bad. But every video that we do we're going to put a hint in or not a hint we're going to put directions in there on how you can get some free entries so somewhere in this video i don't know where we're going to put it but somewhere in this video i'm going to put exactly how you can go get 10 free entries into this giveaway so back to the regular video and i'll put this hint somewhere in this video i'm just going to randomly put it somewhere we're trying to hunt down our next build and we had a Rubicon picked out but the guy we were talking to that had it lived on the Louisiana line in Mississippi and Hurricane Ida just came through and I don't know if he had a bunch of damage or what but I'm hoping the best for that guy. I just haven't been able to get in contact with him. I've got a buddy that has a small ATV salvage yard and he keeps a really small amount of stuff at his house. Just enough to make it interesting to come over here. He's busy uptown, but I gave him a call and he told me I could swing by and check out what he's got. So he does have the big red that we're going to pick up, but we're going to be a week or so before we pick it up. I just ain't got space cleaned out for it yet. So we're going to check out what he's got, maybe what he's got in since the last time I was here, and see what we might can pick up kind of cheap for a build. We do have that 300 build coming up, but that's going to be completely separate. I do see he's got three new connexes here, so maybe he's got more parts here than what he had last time. Anyways, we just pulled up. We're going to jump out and take a look at what he's got and see what we might can pick up for a project. So this is my old Razor 800. We sold that to him a while back. He parted it out. And it looks like a lot of my old stuff's actually here. Funny story about the, the big red. I actually had this thing and it was a complete machine like when I had it. And I ended up selling it to a guy uptown and then somehow my buddy ended up with it. But this is the big red that we will be picking up to build. I just don't know exactly when we'll be picking it up. Whenever I can get some help to get it out of here. But it's still got the rear end. We may do an IRS swap on this. I'm not real sure yet. We'll kind of figure that out once we get into the build i do see that he has a 15 model 500 frame looks like it's got the wiring harness on it. it's got a front diff it's got a voltage regulator it's got the shocks so that's a possibility to pick up i have a bunch of 500 parts that we can build for it as far as arched arms and i believe he should have a rear end for this because i sold him one but it's been a while back, so I've got to check on that. He's got this OBS 420. And I know I had a ton of people kept telling me I needed to build an OBS 420. And he's had this for a while. And it's got power steering on it. I see it's got most of the wiring to it, but somebody has run all kind of extra wires on it. That's probably not needed. But it's still got the motor. It's still got the power steering deal. He's got the front diff in there, but the rear end is gone. And I actually sold him a rear end for an OBS 420. So possibly he still has the rear end for this. That's about it that looks buildable that would be worth picking up here. I don't know what he's got at his other shop. Uh, that's my old brute force over there that we picked up. He's got it. He's got the other brute force that we had over there. I can see under his shed he has one of my biggest regrets I ever did and that was my second little ATC 70 that I bought and I picked that thing up for like a hundred bucks and it's in really rough shape but they're really really hard to find and we did some trading a while back and I should have never traded it but I did and big mistake on my part I can see he's cleaned up a lot. He's got these three connexes. He's got three connexes put up. So he's probably got a ton of parts in there. I want to say that's a Yamaha, I believe. He's got a Yamaha there. 
Oh, yep, I see the grill now. Grizzly 660. I know he's got a 700 over there, if you can see it. Not sure what that is. That's something air cooled. He's got a 300 rear end. I think that's the newer Grizzly there. It looks like it's pretty much wasted. And that's a, his little TRX 70. He won't get rid of it for nothing. I didn't try. Which I've got one of those at the house too, and 170 left to build. So maybe we'll get on those soon. He's got this older Ranger, and I was able to beat him out of one of them. He ended up buying two. But I'm going to try my best to beat him out of this one, and we're going to do a one ton swap. So, this is one we're definitely interested in. It ain't ran in a while, but it'd be a perfect candidate to throw some one ton axles underneath. And it looks like the frame's kind of a little rusty in the back anyways. Or maybe that's a bunch of mud. Uh, I guess that's just a bunch of mud. Maybe a little rust. But perfect candidate for a one-ton swap. So I'm going to try to beat him out of this. That's an old Grizzly 660. That's my dad's old Grizzly. And I see he's done pulled the tires and wheels off. Probably sold those. It was running and driving. I don't know why he ain't fixed it up. So, if you watch this video this far, if you'll go comment the word 420, or the letters, the numbers, it ain't a word, or letters. If you'll go comment the numbers 420 in the comment section, 24 hours after this video is posted, I'm gonna randomly pick somebody. I'll let my wife pick them, I'll let my kids pick it, I'll let my dog pick it if he, if he can figure it out. And we're gonna give that person 10 free entries into this giveaway or maybe we write everybody's name down we'll put it in a hat i'll shake the hat up we'll draw something one way or another go comment 420 24 hours after this video is posted i'm going to randomly pick somebody and give them 10 free entries so go do that before you quit watching the video so the more i think about it i'm pretty interested in that obs 420 and the more i think about it i'm a little hungry and i know i got some snacks in the back number one benefit for having kids your wife always keeps gummies everywhere and i keep a box of gummies in the tahoe number one benefit right here you can never go hungry if you have kids there will always be something to eat laying around so I made the post on what our next show build should be and the majority of people said Rubicon and we had that Rubicon picked out and we got Sydney with Honda Boats is going to donate us a Rubicon frame but all that is not going to be able to be done as quick as what I need this build that we're doing at the moment this will probably not be the 100% show quality build we're, we're probably not going to take a die grinder and get every little PB off the frame from the factory welds and all that we're probably not gonna get that detailed with it but we do need a build that we can put together pretty quick and that'll come out pretty clean the people that didn't say Rubicon most of them said OBS 420 for the fact that there's not a lot of OBS 420s built that are super super clean I have seen a company I know the one guy's got the uh, 420 on like 50s. It's the camouflage one. He's got portals and stuff on it. And that's a really nice build. Somebody posted a black one they were putting together the other day. Looked like maybe it had a small four or six inch lift kit on it. That was pretty clean. But there's not a ton of them out there. And parts are kind of getting cheaper for them. Not crazy cheap yet, but getting cheap enough that it might be interesting to build one. Plus there's not a, not a ton of them built, and the 420 he's got, it's got power steer and the motor's on it. The front diff's there, uh, most of the knuckles and all that stuff's there, the brake stuff's there. Looks like the wiring harness is there, but from what I can tell, somebody had done a lot of rigging on it, so it could possibly need a rock wiring harness. And that might be interesting to try to locate, since it's got the power steering. I have to look into that. I'm definitely interested in it. The 15500 that he's got would be something that I could probably put together pretty easy. Uh, I'm 
just guessing. I know he's got a 15 model bottom end. It's probably one of those Connexes, but I know for sure he's got that. I could build arched arms. Could probably find knuckles and stuff for it pretty cheap. He's got the front diff on there, so we can definitely rebuild that diff. Uh, the rear end, he should have one, but he's probably done sold it. I sold him one. But it's been probably six months ago. So there's a good possibility he's done sold. But I can probably locate one of those pretty easy. I get up with Sydney, he's all the time picking up parts and stuff. And I see him from time to time. There's actually a couple local that I was thinking about picking up for parts. It's probably got at least a good enough rear end we can build around. And we got the big red, but I don't really want to go that route yet because I've got something. I've got a set of six inch portals, but I've only got two and they're UTV solution portals. I'm going to use those on the 300. I mean, shoot, I'm going to use those on the big red build, but I don't really want to jump into that build yet. And what I'm trying to build at the moment really needs to be a boiler. So it's either going to be between the OBS 420 or that 500 that it's got. And I'm thinking OBS 420 just because it's a little bit more complete at the moment. Uh, I do want to get that Ranger and do a straight axle swap on it. I've got a set of one ton axles that I picked up for a truck a long time ago. And it'd be perfect for that Ranger, especially since it's an older model. But it's going to take a little bit of work on it. We're to build a cradle for it and a drop box deal for the transmission so we can get our our angle. I want to lift this thing crazy. So we're going to have, if, if we didn't have a drop box, we'd have some crazy angles on the drive shaft. So definitely got to do a drop box on that. And that's just a ton of fab work that I don't have the time for. I need to be able to put this together in like two weeks. Like max, tear it down to the frame, from frame up, two weeks max. So we're leaning towards the 420. I'm about to pull back up to the shop. I'm going to call him and see if I can beat him out of that 420 or what we can get our hands on and what he's actually wanting for. Because we do have a budget on this build. I'm going to jump out, give him a call, see what we can get. And the goal is to start doing daily videos. I don't know if we can do one every day, but like a daily vlog deal just to kind of keep everybody up to date. A lot of people keep messaging when we started the YouTube stuff. It was like, oh, you ought to do daily stuff. Even uh, the Monster Z guy even said you ought to do daily videos of working in the shop. So I might start doing that just to have something interesting to kind of do during the day. If we can edit video fast enough to get them posted every night. So we could possibly do another video tomorrow and go pick that stuff up if we can get it cheap enough. But we'll figure that out once we get back to the house. But I'm about to pull up now, so I'm gonna jump out, give them a call, see what I can get my hands on, and figure out how fast we can put this build together.